Hello guys, uh, Free here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to do a demo on how to package up your Python code uh, into a wheel file to share that and collaborate uh, with others. Now, what is a wheel file? Uh, the analogy I would think of it when thinking of wheel file is uh, if you can think about a zip file uh, where you have some uh, some code or some files and you want to share that with somebody, you can package that up into a zip file and you can share that. Now, in the world of Python, uh, what people would use is a wheel file or an egg file. Egg is a little bit older. Uh, that was uh, back in about 2004. And wheel files are a little bit newer. So uh, looking at about 2012 here. Uh, so most people, you tend to see packaging of Python code in a wheel file. And um, just like the way uh, you have a bunch of files on your desktop, you zip that up and you can then send send it to somebody. The wheel file will allow you to collaborate that way with uh, uh, with Python code. So uh, check out the packaging of wheel file if you're not familiar with that here uh, on the website too. There's some documentation about what it is. Um, it's a very um, useful thing to, to know. So what we're going to see here in the demo is if you're going to share uh, a, a file and you're working in PyCharm, how do you uh, go ahead to do that in your environment? So the very first thing that we're going to do is we have a blank uh, PyCharm environment here. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a quick uh, empty uh, project here. We'll call that uh, fruit tech. Just create a folder. And within the folder, we're going to throw in a, a quick uh, file. And you can put in as many files as you want, right? So this one, I'm just going to call it fruit uh, demo. And for that, we can write some um, some Python code in there. I trust everyone can write more complex Python code than I could. So just whatever code you have in there, many files with dependencies, all of that just go ahead, write your code uh, and make that all available within uh, within that environment. So now we have our Python file here or file sitting here. So what we're going to do next is uh, to package up the real file, we need one more thing here, which is we're going to have to create up a, a setup uh, a setup file. So it's a requirement for this. So just do a setup.py. And you want to make sure it's at the same level as the project, right? Not inside of your folder. So just make sure that that level is the same. Now, once you have that, the setup, if you think about it as it's, it's a description of what it is you're packaging, right? So, uh, for example, if I'm sending something to somebody, this has the metadata in terms of what the file is, what the version is, uh, if there are licensing or other descriptions that you want to include as part of that packaging. Um, you can definitely include that in the setup file. So I'll, I'll leave that up for you to uh, Google to see what could be included in here. But basically, you need a setup file. So it's a requirement uh, for that. So go ahead, save that. Once we have our setup file, we're going to come back to the terminal here. And uh, now in the terminal, we can go ahead to uh, actually zip up the file. But to do that, we need to do a pip install uh, wheel to make sure that we have the wheel, right? And you want to do setup. Uh, tools. So just make sure you have that. Uh, I should have it already because I did this before. But if you don't, um, then uh, uh, the setup tools will get installed for you. So pip install will setup tools. Now, once you have that uh, uh, setup, the next thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and uh, now we're going to do the actual packaging, right? So you're going to do Python. Uh, and I'm doing this in PyCharm, of course, you can do this from this uh, CLI or the command line uh, without necessarily coming to uh, to PyCharm. But uh, uh, so what you're going to do is uh, Python setup.py because if I wasn't in the directory, I would be specifying the full path. But because I'm, I know I'm in that directory, it's just a setup.py, which is referencing the setup file from above. And the next thing that you're going to do is just a bis this. Uh, so just a requirement, right? What are we doing? We'll uh, let's take the mouse out of there. We'll, and then also we're gonna specify universal. Now it, this is, I think this is optional. Uh, you can read about the differences between a will universal file versus just a regular will file. Uh, there are some differences in there, but I'll let you check that. Check that out. So now uh, before we run this, just pay attention to the folder structure we have above here. See, all we have is just a folder. And that's about it, right? Set up the peer Wi-Fi file. But let's go ahead and run this. Um, so this is running. Uh, it's running a build. You know, should do the packaging. Oh, that was pretty quick, actually. And it should have packaged everything up for, for us. So if we come back up here now, you'd see uh, a, new, a couple of things have been created. 
uh, we have this egg uh, description. I, I typically will ignore this, but what you care about is this this. So that in now in the this there is a whl file, the wheel file. Uh, this is what you can copy, send over to somebody, email in an attachment, and they can just import this into their own uh, environment with Python and uh, have access to this code. And then even in the build side of things here, uh, you see the lib and um, this is the file that got built. But you you don't distribute that, right? What you really distribute is the .wheel file. And just like the way a zip file has the content, if you take this wheel file and you unzip it or you unwheel it, uh, you would see all the things that uh, we have in here. Now, for people who do de uh, development, you can think about importing a wheel file and getting access to functions and methods from within that. There's a whole lot of things you can do. But hopefully this gives you an idea on how to quickly uh, create a wheel file from within um, from within PyCharm and, and share that um, with somebody else that uh, is going to be using that. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, this has been Fro. I will see you in the next uh, video.